Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going on air. Turn it to your left. Grab it. Close the front door. The folks answering this emergency call on this very hot summer day, not your ordinary smoke chokers. How are we doing with that? These are appointed and elected leaders. It's better when we're informed about what the needs are of the people who are doing the jobs, and whether it's in communities or especially with wildfires across the state. A day in the life of a firefighter working in 90 degree temperatures. Like I told you, you don't want fire below you, above you, or behind you. The heat with the summer, that's an experience, that's an experience that's going to exacerbate what they're experiencing today with the added heat and humidity. Four teams of civilians strapped in real fire gear with full 60 pound air tanks carrying real fire hoses. Each of the teams goes through four scenarios, this one involving a structure that's on fire. They're looking for someone who might be inside. The officials on hands and knees following a fire line through the building, holding on to the leg in front of them. The came over the head. The first thing I thought was backdraft. She feel the heat. I thought it was amazing. It's going through the pitch dark, holding on to someone's leg. I think my arm is still attached to someone's leg, trying to feel my way through there. Lawmakers feeling a different kind of heat, not from voters, but from firefighters who want them to know what they do and what they need to do their jobs even better. In Erie, John Bowman, Channel 2 News.